tracing the parameters of an unknown gear by a simple method. Have you ever tried to measure an unknown gear and determine the relevant parameters? This can only be done precisely with a measuring machine and appropriate software. Here is a method that at least gets you closer to the thing. The idea, we assume parameters for the unknown gear, vary them until at least the outside diameter is met, calculate the involutes and plot the measuring points from height and tooth width. If the curve fits reasonably well, the parameters could be okay. We need a tooth gauge, either analog or digital. The tooth widths can be measured corresponding to the height with a tooth width measuring caliper. Let's design a calculation program that places the measured points on the calculated involute. We need a caliper for the outside diameter. First of all we'll need some basic formulae regarding gear calculation. Please notice that these formulae refer to German standard DIN 3960, thus, imperial gears may work but this is not guaranteed. Let us investigate our first sprocket. Its parameters are known so we can test the procedure. 27 teeth, module 2, pressure angle 20 degrees, no profile shift, helix angle 0.
the measuring points meet exactly the calculated involute. Very well. Our procedure looks good. Another well-known gear, it was milled in my private workshop, see video 154. Parameters are as follows, 40 teeth, module 2, profile shift minus 0.64, pressure angle 20 degrees, helix angle 14 degrees. Let us now enter the data and see if the procedure works nicely again. The measuring points meet exactly the calculated involute. Very well. Our procedure looks good. We will measure the outside diameter with a caliper. A third well known gear for testing the procedure. It was milled with a form cutter and a home built helical milling attachment, please see video 158. Data of the sprocket, 25 teeth, module 2.5, no profile shift due to the form cutter, pressure angle 20 degrees, helix angle 29.4 degrees. Quite so. It works. Now comes an unknown gear, a tough nut to crack, a gear from a truck gearbox. The car manufacturers in particular are very creative when it comes to unusual pressure angles and very special gears. We have to approach several attempts. Let us try to guess the module by measuring the height of the teeth. Regarding German standard DIN 3960 the height of a tooth is 2.25 times the module. What do we know for certain? Helix angle about 30 degrees, 31 teeth. What is unknown? The module, thus, let us assume from a course calculation 4 millimeters. The pressure angle, thus, let us assume 20 degrees. The profile shift, thus, let us assume zero.
Perhaps we have here to deal with an imperial module? Convert metric modules to imperial dp by m equals 25.4 divided by dp. dp8 is located between metric modules 3 and 4. Hence, let us assume dp8 for the unknown gear. Thus, m equals 25.4 divided by 8 equals 3.175 and we will add a profile shift of 0.3 to reach the outside diameter. In fact, we have skipped the step computing the involute with m equals 3.175 and no profile shift. Please remember, the involute starts at the base circle. We have computed a base circle diameter of 104.8 mm. Sounds believable. Finally, we examine a gear wheel from a Honda CB350 from the 1970s. We will start our investigation with these parameters. This pairs of width and height did we measure by our special tooth width caliper. Good but not good enough. We measured an outside diameter of 75.5 mm but we computed 75 mm. This we may improve by adding a profile shift. In fact, gears of car and motorcycle gearboxes nearly always feature profile shifts for several gears to reach the same center to center distances. This looks very good now. We have now found parameters that come quite close to the involute we are looking for. Task accomplished. If you like this video, Consult our YouTube channel LSCAD for more such small info videos from the Institute of Engineering Design and CAD of the University of Bayreuth, Germany. May 2020. Thanks for watching.